Okay, today it looks like we have another integral. This one's from MIT 2012. This one's problem 14. We have the integral from zero to one half of x arc sine x over square root of one minus x squared dx. Okay, at first it looked, I kind of thought it looked easy because this is set up for a u substitution. If sine, if our arc sine is u, then we have the derivative right here. The problem we have is this x over here that ruins our u substitution. So I don't think that's gonna work. From here, we have the situation, so an inverse function is usually pretty hard to integrate on its own. So what I wanted to do is use integration by parts. And we'll use the basic uh, integration by parts formula that we have on the board here. We just kind of split our integrand into two functions. We'll split it into u and dv, where u we want to differentiate and dv we want to integrate. We set it up however it's convenient for ourselves where we, can, we know we can integrate this dv thing. And like I mentioned before, for um, our u, on its own, we don't really have a good way to integrate an arc sine, so we can use that as our um, as our u value, okay? And then we can differentiate that, and we know the derivative of that is just one over square root of one minus x squared dx. Then what is this dv value gonna be? Well, it's everything else, because we chose sine inverse for our u, so we'll choose the rest of it for our dv. So let's just write that out. Okay, so if everything else is our dv, we just need to integrate this thing. So let's just do this off to the side here. We'll have x dx over square root of one minus x squared. And then this is set up pretty nice for a, uh, not a use of, we already used u, so I'll use t and we'll call t one minus x squared. So then taking the derivative, our dt is gonna be minus two x dx, pretty close to what we have in the numerator. I'm just gonna create this minus two here and we can multiply by minus one half so that we're not changing the expression. Then just a simple integral over here. So we're gonna have uh, in the numerator is gonna be dt, and then we're gonna have square root of t here. Then just so I can use the power rule, I'm gonna write this again. I'm gonna write it as t to the minus one half. I don't know why I'm trying to fit that in there, but whatever. Okay, so then for this integral, we're gonna have, when we integrate this power rule, we're gonna have t to the one half, but there'll be a two up front. So we're gonna have minus, the square root of t, but t is just this, so we're gonna have minus the square root of one minus x squared. And so this is gonna be our, after integrating all this, this is gonna be our v value minus square root of one minus x squared. Then for the next step, let's look at, so our uv value is just this diagonal right here, u times v. So we'll write that out as, we'll just bring the minus sign in front, and we're gonna have arc sine x times the square root of one minus x squared. And here we're gonna have minus the integral of v, which is this minus one minus x squared, uh, du, which is this, one over square root of one minus x squared dx. But this is very nice because this is gonna cancel with this. A minus sign's, and a minus sign is gonna give us a plus, and so we're just integrating one over here. So integrating this one, I'm gonna just write this up front. We're gonna have an x minus our arc sine x square root of one minus x squared, and we just need to evaluate this from zero to one half. Okay, and we'll plug in a half first. So we're gonna have one half here, minus sine inverse at one half, and then square root of one minus x squared. So a half squared is one fourth, so it's gonna be the square root of three over four. Then we're gonna have a minus, we plug in a zero here, that's just zero. Um, we plug a zero in here, we get one. We plug the zero in for arc sine, and that's just zero. So this whole piece right here is zero, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna take that away. Then just to finish this off, let's evaluate arc sine at one half. That value is just gonna be pi over six. And then this can be simplified right here. We can write this as, um, four is a perfect square, so we can write this as square root of three over two. So then for our final solution, putting it all together, we're gonna have one half minus, uh, we'll write square root of three, pi, six times two, 12, and that's it, we're done. That was a pretty good problem today. Nothing too fancy or difficult, but a good review of integration by part. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.